For today's core workout, we're gonna do four exercises. These four exercises, I want you guys to do four total sets, okay? So the first exercise, here's the list right here. We're gonna do raise knee tucks, 20 both sides. Secondly, we're gonna do a hanging knee raise hold for 40 seconds. Third, we're gonna go ahead and do the WOP, W-O-P, Wheel of Pain. It's an ab wheel exercise you guys are gonna enjoy a lot. And then lastly, we're gonna do a straight leg sit up with a weighted plate. So these are the four exercises right here. Let's get right into it. When doing the raised knee tuck, you guys wanna make sure that your feet are gonna be on top of the box. And when you level yourself out, you're gonna level yourself out into a push up plank in a way, making sure that your hands are gonna be directly under your chest. When you're leveling out, your butt is gonna be nice and flat with your back. So you wanna have a nice flat plane, all right? So right here, you're watching on the screen. So making sure that you're doing that. Next, once you perform the exercise, make sure that your knees are tucking inward. You're using your lower core to pull the knee in to touch the opposite elbow. Once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and extend the foot back onto the box and then repeat onto the other side. You are gonna do 20 reps. Second exercise, you're gonna do the hanging knee raise hold. The hanging knee raise hold, you can either do it with a bar or straps, make sure that you're in. This case, we're gonna go ahead and do just a regular pull up bar. So I'm gonna go ahead, place my hands just about shoulder width apart, up on the bar. After I do that, now it's time to go ahead, take my knees, pull up above my belly button. Keeping your knees together, you're gonna to be using your lower core. If your knees start to separate outward, then you're not. All right, so pinch the knees together. So now we go ahead and activate that lower core. So it's gonna be a full core blown exercise and also making sure that the knees are above your belly button level. If your knees are just barely hitting 90 degrees, most likely you guys are just using your hips just to keep yourself up. So if you really wanna use your core to do the exercise itself, make sure those knees stay above the belly button. All right, go for it, hold for 40 seconds. For the third exercise, you guys are doing the Wheel of Pain, WOP, WAP. All right, everybody pretty much knows about this exercise, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it correctly. When you guys are going onto the floor with the wheel, make sure that your knees are pinched together. Pinching the knees together, you guys are just gonna go ahead and now actually use your lower core to perform the exercise. A lot of times people will just have their knees separate and then you're not really using your lower core anymore. So keep the knees together so it'll activate that lower core. Next, make sure that the wheel is below your chest. It has to be below your chest and about a foot away from your knees. Doing that, you're gonna keep constant tension the entire time. When you go right before you go ahead and extend your body out, your back needs to be arched like a cat on Halloween. So you see my hand right here? See how it's cuffed? A lot of people will start flat and then when they extend out, their lower back is like inverting and that's not really good for us, okay? Start with your back actually arched. Imagine a cat on Halloween, it's frightening, okay? So when you actually go out and roll out, see my hand here? So it's cuffed. When you roll out, it then rolls out and then you get flat. Once you get flat, then you curl back in. When you're curling back in, you curl back in just to the point where that wheel is about a foot away from your knees. If you pull that wheel all the way back to your knees, then you lose tension, okay? So make sure that wheel is still close to your body, but not too close where you still maintain tension the entire time. You have 12 reps, go for it. For your fourth and final exercise, you guys are gonna do a straight leg sit up with a weighted plate. Make sure that your legs are extended outwards. Keep the legs together, keep the legs together. Like I'm gonna say again, it's gonna be using that lower core to help during the exercise. And you know, I wanna treat this as a full core workout. So lie on the floor, you're gonna have the plate right above your head. Keep the elbows locked out and extended up. So when you perform this exercise, you're gonna crunch up. As you're crunching up, focus on your core pulling yourself up. If you feel like you're swinging too much, you probably gotta lower the weight or minus the fact that you just gotta do it without the plate, okay? So do this with the plate first and if it's a little too heavy for you, do it without the plate. Once you crunch yourself up, you wanna make sure that plate maintains perfect posture. That plate is still staying above your head. So it's not coming out in front of your head. It is staying above your head, facing the ceiling the entire time. And then once you just go back down, you are going back down nice and slow and in control. If you go back down too fast, you're probably not maintaining tension in the core whatsoever. So when you're doing this exercise, you guys got 12 reps, go ahead, get it.